Hello, welcome to another edition of Get Away With You. Yes, welcome. Stay with us. Mike. <laughs> Thanks, Mike. Uh, we'll be going to the Bosphorus to sample some Turkish delight. We'll be going to Holland for some Dutch courage. And we'll be going to Spain to spend two weeks sitting on the toilet in a filthy caravan. <laughs> We'll be looking at uh, holiday resorts all over the world, some of which are so off the beaten track that not even the Duchess of York has been there. <laughs> to help with some of your worries about holidays, we're joined, as usual, live from the prestigious annex to runway 14 at Stansted Airport by our consumer affairs expert, Lynn Foldsover. <laughs> yes, I'll be giving you some of the basic safety tips. And they are... Don't go out in the sun, don't eat the local food, and avoid going in the water. <laughs> Good. And above all, try not to travel. <laughs> Thank you. Well, some important travel advice there. Well, uh, now it's time for our first holiday report, which an adapter now brings us from the south of France. <laughs> France. What's the best way to start a holiday? Bar none. Almost. It's actually the Bar Fortuna. <laughs> <laughs> Once you have handled the bars, what better than some handlebars? <laughs> there are plenty of bargains to be found here, so certainly not goodbye to the goodbyes. <laughs> Sir, bored, interested. <laughs> <laughs> the sands of time are fast slipping away here. But just time to let you know that this costume is from my own clothing company. And it's been specially designed to be worn during the menstrual cycle. <laughs> what I call a period costume. Is she finished yet? <laughs> so, Anna, how much? Well, I usually charge... Yes, I meant for the holiday. <laughs> well... For one person on their own, it's £260. But if you go with a film crew, it's considerably cheaper. <laughs> For two people on their own, it's £200 each. For two people going together, but coming back on their own, it's £190. <laughs> And for two people going together, but spending the second night separately, it's the same. For two people originally booking separately for two separate rooms, but then spending the second night together, then travelling back on the same train, but in separate seats and in dark glasses, then you can buy for our special end-away price of £175. <laughs> Well, there's been a huge increase in the number of so-called activity holidays, which seem to incorporate an element of danger in their publicity. Uh, the north face of the Eiger on horseback. Uh, <laughs> shark riding for children. <laughs> and, uh, one of the companies most involved in this line of holiday, whose managing director is with me now, is Fingers Cross Travel. <laughs> and also with me is uh, Joan Patterson of Worksop, whose uh, husband recently died in just such an excursion. So, Mr Johnson, uh, how do you answer your critics? Uh, well, I think you have to look at the pros and cons. What are the pros of being killed prematurely on holiday? <laughs> Well, very few, obviously, but mm -hmm. I, I think you have to look at these complaints in the context of the numerous people who haven't complained. Well, it's not surprising. They're probably dead. <laughs> yes, but this has been blown up out of all proportion. Just like my husband. <laughs> Just uh, one second, uh, Mrs Patterson. Uh, clearly, there's a lot of controversy about your holidays. Yes, well, I admit that some people didn't come back in quite the way they'd expected. <laughs> in a box. <laughs> yes, but I don't think we can be held entirely responsible. You killed my husband. Well, just hang on there, Mrs Patterson. He murdered my husband. Well, yes, but was it not D.H. Lawrence, I think, who said that for every murderer, there's a murderee? Was that not your <laughs> husband's role in all this? What? <laughs> Someone who secretly desired to be murdered? <laughs> my husband didn't want to be murdered. Well, why did he go on a holiday like this, then? <laughs> It was just a holiday. Well, but with a company called Fingers Cross Travel on a holiday described as up the Amazon without a boat. <laughs> well, it's not exactly safe, is it? Well, we didn't think, you know, well, that it would be safe. times if you thought at all, Mrs. Patterson. If you had done, perhaps this calamity wouldn't have occurred. Here, yeah, here. Yeah. Well, <laughs> we didn't expect him to come back dead. Well, you certainly got your comeuppance there, didn't you? <laughs> 
So, uh, thank you for joining us. I've got a clearly untrustworthy tour operator offering suicidally dangerous holidays on one hand and someone else willfully delivering themselves into his hands on the other. Thank God I'm me. <laughs> uh, well, uh, our very own Right Reverend Reverend Wright has started a new venture in holidays, one with an ecclesiastical bent, and I don't mean it's for gay clergymen. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, it's uh, for uh, one of several Christian break holidays, and I went down there to meet their maker. <laughs> Well, what I see us as doing here, Mike, is putting the holy back into holiday. Why don't you put the holly back into holiday? <laughs> Very good, Mike. There are all sorts of games and activities here. There are donkey rides, a wet vicar contest, and just a little light religion. Have a nice day, my son. <laughs> well, we know that young people are, um... Well, we know that they're young people, actually. That's what we know about them. And so we cater, of course, with them, uh, for them, for, for them. them. We don't cater with them. We're not cannibals. <laughs> no, but um, we cater for them by selling these, our own particular brand of contraceptives. St. Johnny's, as I call them. <laughs> Condoms with an ecclesiastical flavour. Not that I've tasted them myself, of course. <laughs> Well, I think one has to go for a week. After all, that's how long it took God to make the world. He's my kind of guy. He's out of sight. He ain't heavy. He ain't kind. He's in the groove, doing right. He's right, reverend, reverend, right. And every booking on the Christian break holiday is subject to confirmation. But, uh... <laughs> Don't worry if you haven't been confirmed, because you are eligible for what they call their Super Saviour package. <laughs> which includes free red wine with every meal and as many loaves and fishes as you can eat. <laughs> well, Anna has some handy holiday hints for you now. Check to see if your holiday is abroad, as this will inevitably mean a journey overseas. <laughs> if it is abroad, check to see which country. <laughs> then you often speak strangely. <laughs> if this is the case, you will need a phrase book. If you're going to Spain, we suggest you buy a Spanish one. <laughs> Always check to see that your passport has not expired. Use my simple two dates test. Check the date on your passport and then look at the date on your tickets. If the first comes before the second, then it has expired. If it comes after, then it's okay or valid to use the technical term. <laughs> When packing, make sure not to include any household pets. Quarantine laws can be very strict nowadays, and they'd be bound to show up on the X-ray scanner in the... <laughs> OK, and that information and uh, much more is contained in our special book, How to See the World for Just Five Pounds a Day, available from KYTV's Sofa Shop, price £29.50. <laughs> Well, uh, when we heard you could rent a villa near Siena for just £49 a week, we couldn't believe it. And indeed, it wasn't true. <laughs> the real cost being closer to the 500 mark. So we asked local tourist officer Gino Tardelli to explain its appeal. La villa ha una bella vista sulla campagna toscana. The villa has a beautiful view of the countryside of Tuscany. La gente di tutte le nazioni d'Europa è stata qui. People from all over Europe have stayed here. Yeah, tedeschi, francesi, spagnoli. And Germans, French, Spanish. Hey. Gli inglesi. And the English. Una nazione che io personalmente. A nation which I personally detesto. They have the utmost regard for. Efficiente, <laughs> idiota. The, with their love of fishing and yachting. Una nazione di bastardi. A nation of <laughs> bustling, happy people. <laughs> bastardi! Bustling, always bustling. Con il loro, oh, God save the Queen. <laughs> royal family. Bastardi idioti. Bustling on their yacht. <laughs> Take two large spoonfuls of treacle, add three pints of cream, then two peeled peaches. Mix in the whites of two eggs, then simmer gently for three minutes. Sweeten to taste and serve while hot. Then, Take two fingers and jiggle lightly down the back of the throat. 